Online learning is a new way of using the internet for distance education process. As a replacement for the traditional education, ways it has become popular within the past decade and mostly now. For example, the advantages of online learning are cheaper, it takes less time, it allows for self-paced learning and modern. Disadvantages, plagiarism, cheating, isolation, and it takes self-discipline. Online learning is on the rise. A 46% of recent graduates took an online learning as a part of their degree. Lots of students are attracted to the flexibility of online learning. Have you taught any online course before? I have been in uh, academia for quite some time and I have had experience uh, teaching online courses for um, close to about eight years now and uh, I would say that my experience in online learning has been nothing but awesome if I might say so myself. Well yes I have, I taught them in New Zealand before I came out here. I would build them and then hand them off to other staff to teach. The process is long and very, very complicated, um, but it was part of the reason why I was hired to come out to Bahrain, and it's something that we've never really quite gotten off the ground here. How do you teach a course online? You need to, to have a framework in your mind. I try to use Vygotsky uh, and neurolinguistic programming. Um, then you want to look at your materials, think about how you present them and how you'll get feedback from the students about whether they understand what they're learning, if they've learned what they've learned. Uh, there should be about 44 exposures to one piece of information. It's called uh, habit formation. Um, and then you need to check that you have instructions right. The students can follow the process easily. And you do this by giving what you're making to other people. They check for grammar and spelling. And you also give it to as similar as possible to the people you're, you're eventually going to teach. And then eventually to a test cohort of students. That, in a nutshell, a very short nutshell, is, is how an online course process should be made. What are the advantages of online learning? Well, let me answer that question by saying that each of them do have their advantages. And it now would be up to the teacher, okay, or the academic, to fully use, okay, all of those particular uh, benefits okay, for the learning of his or her student. Okay? There are advantages to physical classroom learning. Okay? If ever you are able to engage the student more, okay, then that is what works. However, there are also advantages to using online learning. And if all of the features of a particular online platform is used very well, then this could be very beneficial as well, okay? And of course, there are times where um, there would be challenges uh, in using online learning for courses that are more physical. Let's say the, the implementation of laboratory uh, sessions, okay, which actually need, for example, machines or actual hands-on experiences, then a physical um, hands-on type of learning is more advantageous. How was your experience of online learning? It was good, uh, but uh, sometimes I have trouble with the Wi-Fi connection, so the website just gets stuck. Uh, I found it to be quite difficult because uh, I personally like having the tutor or the doctor that's te teaching us or explaining things to us using a board and, uh, and physical contact, you could say. Can online learning replace universities? Uh, no, uh, you cannot. It's way too difficult and uh, not that practical, I think. Let me just say, number one, um, in the manner that it is used, whether it be physical classroom, face-to-face uh, -face learning, or online learning, the way it is used matters a lot. Okay. Number two, the situation. 
okay, the circumstances, okay? If, for example, uh, an individual could not really come for a physical class, then yes, definitely an online learning mode would be um, most recommended. In 2018, students showed that 85% of students who attend a face-to-face -face course through internet was one of the best experience and better than classroom courses. 37% who felt it was superior experience. What classes would you not prefer to take online? The classes that I would not prefer to take online is the web media uh, project because it requires me to go outside and uh, meet with clients and that's going to be hard for me to do it online. What should be the process on teaching an online course? There's a massive process involved in building a course that is no longer face-to-face. -face. The materials can go in reasonably close to, to how they were given before, but what you need to build around that is a lot of information, the instructions, because you, don't, you can't answer student questions, you can't ex explain or have to re-explain how to do things and you need to make those really simple otherwise students will be will be not following you need to do everything in a in small bite-sized chunks because if you give them too much information they'll just turn off and, and, and not want to do it so the process should be for each student is you know learn about one thing and then do something or some things associated with that and preferably that should be fed back to the teacher so that they can go, okay, yep, you've got this, or, or we need to do some more work on, on that particular thing you're teaching. So therefore, every part of the course should be broken into, you know, a hundred small pieces. What do you like about online learning? Online learning is easy because I don't have to drive to uni and get stuck in traffic, and uh, I don't have to find a park for my car. So that's why it's really, really easy for me. Do you think online learning is more effective and time-saving? Yeah, it is. It's, you have better time management to get to. But in the end, you cannot replace the experience that you're getting in university and the knowledge that you get from uh, physical contact with the doctor. For online learning, research has shown that it actually is more time consuming for the teacher okay? because if you really want to cover all of the features and use all of the features of a particular platform to its maximum, then you have to prepare a lot. Okay? And, well, of course, practice okay, is very important so that during the actual online session, it would go through smoothly, seamlessly. Okay? However, of course, um, actual physical preparation for an actual uh, classroom setting also takes time. But studies have shown that online learning preparation is more time consuming. Uh, I would just like to say that from the side of the student, it's time saving. Okay, time saving in the, in the sense that you could actually go back and learn and listen and go through a recorded session. Okay, that is, of course, if it is recorded. Online learning has become more and more popular in the world. A recent study shows that online learning is 70% more effective than the traditional learning method. Congratulations! You are now enrolled in an online course from Bahrain Polytechnic University. Now you do not have to struggle to in finding a park or deal with the traffic. You can log in whenever you want. It's easier, right? No. What are some tips for online learning? Keep in mind to use a reliable computer that does not shut down while you are taking a class. Also, you should be capable of fixing common internet connection problems. Tip number two. Avoid online shopping, playing games, doing online course in noisy environment. Here is the most important tip. Since you will not be communicating face to face, a lot of reaction will be expected. Check Moodle every day and keep an eye on your emails. Lastly, it is very important to submit your assignments and self-directed learning activities. 
on time. So keep track if you can handle all this easily. Then you are probably ready. Good luck.